Hey everybody, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Imagine Then Make. In this video, we're going to look at using layers in LibreCAD. So for those of you that are not familiar with drawing in layers or using layers, let me just very crudely demonstrate with kind of a physical example. If this is our screen and we start by drawing on our first layer and we draw, let's say, this triangle. So now we see a triangle on the screen. If we were to draw on the next layer, say layer number two, this is layer number one. If we were to draw a square on layer number two, you can clearly see that that gets stacked on top of layer number one. And then let's just take layer number three and we'll draw a circle on top of that. So drawing in layers really is like drawing on individual sheets of paper and just stacking them up one on top of the other. So to carry this crude physical example one step further, I just have a lamp with a piece of newsprint on top of it. If I take my layer number one, which has the triangle on it, and I draw it on layer number one, you can see that the triangle appears on the screen. If I take layer number two that has the square on it and I stack it on top, I hope you can see that you can see the square which is in layer number two and you can see the triangle which is one layer below it on layer number one. And then if we take our third layer, the one with the circle on it, and we put that on top so you can see the circle on layer number three, the square on layer number two, and then hopefully you can just barely make out the triangle on layer number one. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you what this looks like in LibreCAD. All right, so I've launched LibreCAD. I happen to be running version 2.1.3. All right, so in order to see the layers and to control their names and colors and line widths and all kinds of stuff like that, what you do is mouse up to the widgets menu and then slide down to dock widgets, slide to the right and left mouse click layer list. And what that does is it puts up this little window here on the right side, right hand side of the drawing area. Now I believe you can drag it and leave it floating if you like where you can set it up so that it docks to the top part of your screen or the bottom or the left hand side but I just prefer it having having the uh, layer list on the right hand side of the drawing area. You can also mouse over to the border and when the mouse pointer changes, you can left mouse click and drag to make this window wider or narrower. So I like to keep it fairly narrow to try and maximize the drawing area. All right, every drawing starts with layer number zero. You can't have a drawing without any layers, so it defaults you to this first layer. Now you can see this little section here. This is the name of the layer and it's kind of in gray. If I click on this button right here, which is modify layer attributes slash rename, then it gives me some characteristics of this layer. And it doesn't look like it lets me change this name at all. Um, but there are some choices for line color, line width, and even the kind of line. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating our own first layer. So I'm going to hit this plus button, which is add a layer. 
and right now it comes up with no name so I'm just going to call it layer number one sticking with the earlier video clips and I'm going to choose just for demonstration purposes a line color of red and a line width uh, we'll just leave it at the default and we'll leave it as a continuous line but there are several other choices hit OK and there's our first layer all right so if you recall from the other two clips the first layer had a square on it or no I'm sorry it had a triangle a large right triangle so let's go ahead and use the line command to draw a large right triangle now this right triangle is being drawn on layer number one because that's the layer that's highlighted and so it uses all the attributes that we assigned when we created layer number one namely the color of the line is red and the line type is continuous so that's what we did we just drew a red triangle on layer number one let's add another layer the second layer has a square on it so let's hit the plus plus button again this time we'll just call it layer number two we'll change the color just to make it obvious we're on a different layer let's try green and we'll leave the line width and the line type alone for now so now i'm on layer number two you can tell because it's highlighted so let's go ahead and draw a square on layer number two so we'll start uh, right here i guess so there's our square on layer number two now let's add our third layer we'll call it layer three We'll change the color to blue this time, and we'll leave the line width and type line type alone. Now layer number three has been added, and you can see it's highlighted. So let's go ahead and draw a circle on layer number three. And let's just do that. Okay, so now you can see that there's three different layers named one, two, and three to kind of correspond with our earlier uh, video clips. And I chose to use three different line colors but drawing the same shapes that we showed earlier. Now there's a few little icons here on the layer list that are kind of interesting. So this first one in the left hand side, this one turns the layer makes it visible or invisible so if I click on the little eyeball for layer number one that makes layer number one get turned off or become invisible likewise with two or with three if I turn them all off only layer one is visible and I didn't draw anything on layer one let's go ahead and draw something on layer one let's see what should we draw let's draw <clears throat> something let's draw a rectangle and we'll make it kind of we'll make it kind of large and now let's just draw some diagonal lines in our rectangle and there we go so now if we turn off layer 0 which is our default layer now we have nothing visible in our drawing area if I were to turn on layer number 3 there's my circle there's my square there's my triangle and of course I can do any combination of layers that I like All right, let's start talking about some of the other things you can do with layers.